Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, we'll be taking a basic topic in biostatistics, correlation. If you know you are new to this channel, please kindly press the subscribe button and like our video so that you get notification whenever I post a new video. What is correlation? Correlation is actually a measure that is used to describe the relationship between two variables in statistics. It actually determines the strength or degree as well as the direction of the relationship between these two variables. Correlation in biostatistics or in statistics in general is actually measured using correlation coefficient. And in today's class, we'll be taking or we'll be talking about how to calculate piercing correlation coefficient by hand. Just the correlation coefficient is actually one of the basic tools that is used in biostatistics. The value of the correlation coefficient usually ranges from plus one to minus one. If the value is zero, it actually means there is no relationship between the two variables. If the value is positive, positive or is one, it means that there is a direct relationship between the two variables, in which case, if one is increasing, the other one is increasing. Why? If one is decreasing, uh, why if, the other, if one is decreasing, one of the variables is decreasing, the other is also what? Decreasing. But if the value is minus one or a negative correlation, it simply implies that their, their relationship is inverse. They possess an inverse relationship. In this case, if one is increasing, the other one is what? Decreasing. So let's quickly look, take a look at how uh, we calculate piercing correlation coefficient by hand. The question is displayed on the board and the two variables are actually the pH and the species richness. The value for the pH is given as X. The five value is displayed on the board and the value for the species richness is given as Y. It's also displayed on the board. Now, the formula to calculate piercing correlation coefficient is written on the board, there are various formulas, numerous formulas for calculating it, but I have to pick the easiest one, easiest formula, and it's actually displays on the board. Here we have n bracket summation x, y, and all that. So it's written on the board. The value of n, as you can see, is five. The number of variables, or the, sorry, the number of values in the variables. X, y is actually you're going to multiply x when uh, use x to multiply y. As we apply, as we go through this question, you will notice how easy it is to actually carry out this calculation. So the first thing you do is, since you have S, you have to draw a table, put a column for X, put a column for Y, those are the two variables, then put another column for S square, put another column for X, Y square, and put another column for X, Y. These are the basic things that are present in the formula so you just look for now x the value is displayed it is already given is lined here y the value is given in the question and is lined here now x square you have to use 6.5 square you have 42 7.2 square you have 51 so you do the same for all for y square you have for this y square you have 10 square if you square 10 you have 100 if you square 15 you have what two 125. You do the same for all. Then for x, y, you simply do this. Use x to multiply what? Y. So you use 6.5 to multiply 10, you have this. 7.2 to multiply 15, you have this. So you repeat the, that for all the five values. After doing that, what will you do? You simply what? Find the sum. Sum of x, you sum all these values, you have 34.9. Sum of y, you find all the sum, you have 69. Sum of x squared, you find all the sum of, and you find the sum of what? x squared, you have this. Sum of y squared, you have this. Then sum of x, y, you sum all the values here, you have this. Once you have gotten that, remember, this is the formula for calculating the piercing correlation coefficient. What will I do? What is n? n is number of value. I have one, two, three, four, five. So n is actually five. Now, sum of x, 
x y what is the sum of x y we have it here we put it that's why we have the value this value being placed here now the next thing is minus you put in negative what the subtraction sign here sum of x this is sum of x is values here you put it here next is sum of y remember since both of them are in bracket it means you have to multiply so you need sum of x times sum of y so this is sum of x this is sum of y you put the value there the formula you have to put your division sign or then now square root you put the square root there n is the same thing five sum of what s square now we have s square here the sum is this two four uh, four four point zero nine now that is what you have in the formula minus now this is unique here so this is sum of x but you have to square it so this is sum of x but you have to look for the square so this value here you square it you go to the next this is n put the big bracket there n is five sum of what y square this is y square the sum is what nine eight nine you put the value there in the formula is minus sum of y square this is also unique this is y sum of this is sum of y but you are going to square it remember sum of y is inside the bracket so you put the value inside the bracket and square it so that is what i did here now if you carry out this remember you have to multiply this put the value separate multiply this put the value separate and subtract and you have to follow the step thoroughly so that you will not make mistake remember again you have to use this to multiply this put the value separate square this and carry out the subtraction you still do the same for this this is simply basic mathematics after doing this you will get this value if it is not get this value it means that one of your calculations here may be wrong now if you look at the correlation coefficient that we have here this is the formula this is the symbol for correlation coefficient if you look at the correlation coefficient we have a 0 0.99623 now this value is very close it's a positive value and it's actually close to one indicating a strong direct what relationship between the two variables between the two variables in this case it means that if x the ph is actually increasing the species richness is what increasing so it's actually indicating what a direct relationship please take note this is a basic question in biostatistics is not a a sample data now assignment will be given is being displayed on the screen attempt this question and send me your answer my email the email of the channel is always at the description box biologyassess at gmail.com thank you very much